I mean, just for a bit of history here, I've been looking into custom launches since July 2018. So right from the start, I know lots of you were not happy with the home screen. The fact that we couldn't tweak it, we couldn't customize it. It was severely limited. And especially on those older first and second generation devices, it was extremely sluggish. So since 2018, I've been trying to find different workarounds, different methods, different processes on how we can change the home screen. And it really looks like now Amazon may have finally put this to bed where no more custom launches, no more tweaking, no more customizations. We have to do things the way Amazon want us to. And here we have it guys on my 4K Fire Stick Max is downloading this latest update. And I know that as soon as my device installs this update, I'm no longer going to be able to use custom launchers. Now, I started getting reports about this a couple of hours ago, actually last night, and um, I knew it was gonna happen. I mentioned this in my last video that now that they've decided to block the updates or, or my update blocker, it really does seem like only a matter of time where today it's the update blocker, tomorrow it's gonna be custom launchers, maybe in the future, it may even be third party applications. I mean, the fact they've gone ahead and done this now, it just shows like Amazon are saying, if you want to use your own device, you have to use the home screen that we told you to use and you can't stop us sending updates to you. So it does sound crazy, but that's the way things are going. And I really am worried if the next step is going to be blocking third party applications. Now I'm doing this on my device, just so you can see that if you do get the latest update on your device, and if you haven't been able to block updates previously, then we're all going to experience the same thing. Now here we can confirm my device. This is my Fire Stick Max. I have got the latest version. I now press the home key. Let's now open the launcher manager. I can now click on launcher options. So I now click on enable custom launcher. Let's click on that. Let's now press the home key. Uh, let's select Wolf for always. I'm inside my custom launcher. But watch what happens when I press the home key. Okay, we are <laughs> we are still inside the custom launcher. So, okay, so what's actually happened, guys? I did do this a few times, but there's actually two specific versions of the Fire OS update, one for version 6 and one for version 7 that actually breaks the custom launcher. Fortunately, my device has not got it yet, but if I just double check the version, so my device, the current latest version is 7.2.4.2, and the version actually breaks the custom launcher is 7.2.7.3. So whether it's gonna be the next one or the one after that on my device, other people around the world, which I will show you in just a second, have already received this latest update. And definitely on that one, even though you select the custom launcher, as soon as you press the home key, it always takes you back to the stock launcher. So that's what we have for Fire OS 7. Let's now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, which is Fire OS 6. And I'll tell you the exact version on that device, which also breaks the custom launchers. So here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick, this is the latest version currently available for me, which is 6.2.8.1. And the confirmed version, which actually breaks the custom launchers is 6.2.8.7. So as soon as that version comes onto my device, goodbye custom launchers, goodbye making changes to my home screen, having those custom wallpapers, those custom sections, all of that's going to be disabled on my device and I'll be forced to use the home screen that Amazon want me to use. So, and here you guys can see in real time that lots of people have already started reporting as soon as they receive 6.2.8.7 on their Fire OS 6 devices or 7.2.7.3 on their newer devices like the Fire Stick Max or the Fire TV Cube. As soon as those updates come to their devices, then no more custom launches. So, it is very, very frustrating and it clearly shows you that Amazon are not happy with us using custom launchers because as you guys know, when you use a custom launcher, you don't see any of those sponsored content, any of those adverts, any of those sponsored applications. Amazon are not happy with that. They want to ensure that they can keep making money from those advertisements and having those custom launchers blocked just means that they can keep that money coming in. Now, in terms of blocking updates, the only method I found previously online on XDA was the DNS method, 
which was also demonstrated by Tanya on her channel. The only issue is lots of you had problems using somebody else's DNS servers. Many of you were not comfortable with that. So, and to be fair, if you do want to do it, you can always follow her video, which is why I didn't want to make a video, another video on the same topic. There is one other method which I have been testing and it doesn't use DNS as such. It uses an application on your device to actually block those updates, but I'm still testing it and I really understand how important it is because there really isn't much time left. So probably in the next one or two updates, my device will have this update, which actually breaks those custom launches. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. So as soon as I finish testing off this workaround, I will post a video straight away. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below and let me know if you think Amazon should be allowed to do this to our devices, the ones that we pay for. Can they force us to use whichever home screen that they like? Can they force us to accept any updates that they want to send to us? So I personally think that I purchased this device, so I should have that control. But do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.